Are you throwing away all your food scraps? Why, why, why? Every chef is gonna have one of these in the freezer. This contains all of my scraps that I accumulate whenever I'm prepping. Onion skins, carrot peel, parsley stems, asparagus stem, mushroom bottoms. We're gonna get a pot. Put the scraps in the pot. Fill it with water. So you wanna fill it up to where the vegetables just begin to float. Let this boil. Peppercorns, bay leaves, and thyme. Just turn the heat down to low and let it simmer. Yes, it really is that easy to make veg stock, and it's free. Go! The cheek of the tuna is one of our favorite pieces, and for a long time, we would hide behind the bar and save it for ourselves, but we found that other people really like to explore the cuisine, and this is the filet mignon of the tuna. It's a very fatty tissue, and it's never really utilized. There's no sinew. There's no really strong muscle tissue in it. I like to pan sear it because I like it to stay rare inside. You can really get the essence of the tuna that way. I like to pair it with things that are available farmer's market style. Beet puree, greens, and just a little bit of smoked soy that we just drip over the top. It gives it a little umami and a little bit of flair without getting in the way of the fish. Here's what to do with your leftover candle wax. First, you're going to add water to each of your candles. Place your candle in the microwave and microwave for two minutes. After that, it should look a little like this and all the candle wax should be floating to the top. Since the jar is still hot, you can take off the sticker. Leave these candles to sit for about two hours so the wax can harden. After this is done, I like to place the wax on a paper towel and cut it into fours. You can also remove the wicks with your knife. After I've cleaned out the jars, I like to put the wax back in it so I can have somewhere to store all the wax. Here's my wax warmer and I like to place these little wax triangle things in the wax warmer. And yeah, this is how you can reuse your wax and it makes the house smell great. I'm sure you're getting tired of doing the same old thing with frozen peas. Today, you learn something new. Now let's go! Okay, we're starting by making a bermonte or butter emulsion. Turn the pan on high, add one tablespoon water. As Soon as that begins to boil, turn the heat all the way down. And little by little, we're gonna whisk in cold unsalted butter. You'll notice this is not at all split. It's like a sauce all on its own. Keeping the heat low, I'm gonna slowly add little bits of creme fraiche. Add all your creme fraiche and set it aside somewhere warm. Salt up some boiling water and drop about a pound of frozen peas. Cook those peas for three minutes and then add to a food processor. Now add your emulsion in there. Now some fresh basil and mint. Big old pinch of malden salt. And Sergeant Gilbert to taste and some fresh lemon juice. Now lid on and blend. And just pulse till it looks something like this. Now you've made mushy minted peas. Remember, if you love food and you're trying to learn how to cook, you gotta give me a follow. And don't forget to like the post. <laughs> you know I love you and I'm out. Here's how to make a vegan hot chocolate bomb. So first you need a mold and we are using some Bourneville chocolate which is vegan. You want to break up all the pieces then bang it in the microwave until it is all melted. Next you want to put the chocolate in the mold making sure you're covering all the edges. Then put your mold in the fridge for 10 minutes to set. And whilst you're killing some time it would mean so much if you could listen to my brand new single Back To You. You can click the link in my profile or just search Back To You by Morgan M. James on all streaming platforms. Now you want to take your mold out of the fridge and carefully take out the shells. Next I'm using green and black's hot chocolate which which is vegan and putting two teaspoons in one half of the mold. I'm also going to add one Oreo because fun fact, Oreos are actually vegan. I'm now adding some excess chocolate around the edge to help the shells stick and putting the other half of the mold on top. Now you just want to get your milk of choice. I'm using almond milk. Heat it up and put it in a mug. And now you have your very own vegan hot chocolate bomb. We made lemonade earlier and we were wondering what to do because we don't want to waste all these beautiful lemons. 
So then we looked up that you can put this in a jar for two weeks with vinegar and make all-purpose cleaner. So sustainability! If you love garlic, this technique is going to change your life. Fill a saucepan up with peeled garlic and cover it with oil. Place the garlic in a 200 degree Fahrenheit oven for three hours. And I know it sounds like a lot of time, but you literally don't have to do anything besides stick it in the oven. It's called garlic confit and it's going to award you with roasty, toasty, smashable, spreadable garlic cloves that do not leave you with dragon's breath. Pour the confit and the garlic laced oil in a resealable jar. Keep it in the fridge for at least a few months. This will last a long time. If you don't eat it first. Does this scene look familiar? Mops and brooms stacked in the closet. Or this scene, you put something in the closet and timber! Get yourself one of these, you won't regret it. Not really any magic here, just one of my favorite command strip products. You install it like you would any other and then, boom! Problem solved. The cool thing about these is if you have two mops or brooms you need to hang, you can customize them to the height that you need. And like that, you get back the valuable space you need in your closet and it's so simple to access them. My customer asked for a mini cake and matching cupcakes. They wanted me to include peanuts and a variety of chocolates. I started by making my chocolate cake batter and baking three four inch layers of sponge and six cupcakes. Next, I made a chocolate buttercream and filled my cake with this and a dark chocolate ganache. I crumb coated my cake and then I decided to ice my cake in a two tone chocolate and white design. I added a dark chocolate ganache drip and then a selection of yummy chocolates. I used a similar selection of chocolates to the cupcakes, adding them to the cupcake box as I went. I like to photograph my cakes out of their box first and then take photos of the cupcakes with the matching cake in the background. I add corner extenders to my cake box as my cakes are often quite tall and then I leave the cakes in the fridge until my customer arrives to collect. Just finished hoovering. Looks clean. Watch this. Are you running out of space in your wardrobe? Here's a life hack for you. When you have a can of soda, save the ring pulls. Slide the ring pulls onto your coat hangers. And then you can stack your clothes using the ring pulls, giving you more space in your wardrobe. Trust me when I say this is how you make a high level steak. What better way to celebrate 1 million followers by showing you how I cook the best filet mignon ever. Now let's go. Temper 30 minutes and lightly cover in oil. Rosemary salt. If you know, you know. Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty. Finely ground. Now roll the edge. Bring your pan up to medium high heat. Little avocado oil and sear. Flip after about a minute. Stick with me. By the end of this video, you're going to understand the technique. Now rest two minutes. Drop the heat of the pan to low and add five tablespoons of butter. When the butter's starting to foam, put the steak back. Constantly baste. Every 30 seconds, turn the meat. Keep basting. When it hits about 90 internal, rest five minutes. Drop some crushed garlic in your butter. Now heat back on, steak back in, and continue to baste. Drop in some thyme. When it hits 125 internal, blast the heat and baste for one minute. Now, one final six minute rest. Before we do the reveal, if you're getting value from this, please remember to like the post. And if you want to become a god in the kitchen, just hit that follow button. Woo! Oh my lord. You know I love you, Anima!
you know.